Hi everybody, welcome to the Gagno Atelier. I'm your old pal, Tim Gagno, and today we are gonna talk about digital ink transfers and compare two great products, the InkAid Transfer Ease and Film and the Das Art Wonder Sauce and Film to see which product will perform better and serve as the best solution for my digital ink transfers of the scriptural text on the Illuminated Messiah project. So stay tuned and we're gonna to get to work. Here are the four different products that you can use to do a digital transfer uh, to a substrate. So taking something that you've printed out of a computer and then transferring that image from the printout onto your painting or your substrate or whatever it is that you're trying to do. The first way that this has always been done, it has been for many, many years, is by taking a, uh, any acrylic gel medium, in this case, this is a Liquitex uh, pouring medium, which is my go-to product for this. And then you print out a sheet of paper, and then you just paint or pour this medium over the paper, and you can see here it's still wet. But when that dries, it's gonna basically make a sheet of clear plastic over the paper. You then flip this paper over, and then with water, you can soak the paper, and then rub with your fingers, the paper will just go away, which will leave a clear sheet of plastic, much like this one, with the film uh, left alone. So this, when the paper is rubbed away with water, will turn into something very much like this. The other way, and the much more common way to do it, is to print this, but print it in reverse. So it's, it's like a mirror image of it, so all the text is backwards. And then you take the, the pouring medium or the, or the acrylic gel medium, and you paint it onto the substrate, and then you just put the paper, and you can kind of see here, this is a scripture from 1 Samuel uh, 2.10, but it was printed backwards, and then the paper is put on, and then once this is totally dry in about 24 hours, you can then come back with water and you put water on this and then you rub it away and the paper will just come off leaving the image on the substrate. So that's the first and most common way that this is done with a gel medium. The second way uh, that it was done was uh, Golden came out with this product called golden digital ground. I use the clear gloss kind. And what this would do is you would, you would be able to put this onto pretty much anything and then that would allow you to, it would accept the ink from an inkjet printer where you could print on whatever you put this product onto. In my case, what I would do is I would take this gel medium and I would just pour it over like a wax paper or a special plastic that it could just peel right off of. Once that dried, I would then put the digital ground on top of that, tape it to this big sheet of paper, and then run it through an inkjet printer and print directly on it. And then when it's dried, I would be left with this clear sheet of plastic that I could then lay on top of my painting. So that's how that would, that's how that would work. Now, the problem was, as great as this was and as effective as this was, I found, uh, first of all, this was much more effective because this way, no matter how much rubbing I seemed to do, there was always like a little tiny bit of paper fiber left. And so what would happen is, is you would have these areas that were they were clear, but they were areas that were cloudy. And it was because there was still a little tiny bit of paper fiber left. And so to avoid that, I went to this technique. And so this was, this was much more superior. It was great. The problem was Golden didn't sell enough, so they discontinued the product. So it was a rough day. You can see this here is all I have left. And that would probably give me enough to do maybe five transfers. So that's when I went online and I started researching and Golden was great about one thing. They, uh, when you called them, or in my case, I emailed them, 
they uh, told me that yes, the product was discontinued, but then they recommended these two products, the Das Art uh, Wonder Sauce Clear with the transfer film, and then the competitor's product, which is Ink Aid Transfer Ease and their transfer film. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell you one of the things that I was a little bummed out about when this came in the mail, all it was was an envelope and there's no box or bag or anything. It's just literally like that. And it does not tell you, there's no way to tell what side is the printable side and which side is not. And so I've already wasted two of these by putting them in the printer incorrectly. Because if you don't put it, if you put it in this way, it won't print on one side, but it, it only prints on one side. And so that's obviously a problem because if you don't know what side it is, you run it through the printer, it, oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Because it, it, you can't transfer with it and it smears everywhere. My inkjet was all covered in ink. It was a mess. So that was a problem. So right there, Dasart, if you're listening, it would be really helpful if there was a way that you could make it much easier to let us know what side is what because I can you can kind of maybe feel a difference between one side and the other. One side is smoother than the other. And so the grindy side, the gritty side would be the obviously the side you print on. But the problem is, is that it's like they're both pretty darn smooth. So it's, it's guesswork. Over here with Ink Aid, Ink Aid has been extremely helpful, but this right here is probably the biggest help right there. I know exactly what side to print on. Put the image on this side. That is a huge and yet simple thing. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so I'm going to be able to have, I have 25, I have 12 sheets here and I have 25 sheets here. And this at least tells me what side. So I know I'm not going to waste my 25 sheets worth with 12 sheets here. I've already lost a few sheets of, because I print on the wrong side. So that's uh, the first thing. But today my main focus is to see how this product works out. Now Inkgate also has a product that is literally identical to this. So if neither one of these works out, Inkade, Inkade has a product that's exactly like this. So therefore I can do this process, which has worked very well. It's time consuming and there's a lot of work involved. So these seem like they'll be much faster and easier, but if I have to, I can go back to this technique with the digital ground. It's just that Inkade makes an identical product. So that's fantastic. So with that said, guys, let's get started. The important thing to remember when you're doing an ink transfer is to set your printer to black and white. You don't want to print it in full color. And the Inkaid guys uh, explained to me that um, in your inkjet printer, your tricolor or your, your, your color cartridges are actually, um, they are ink. Whereas the black, especially uh, with most, uh, you know, just tabletop, desktop inkjet printers, the black ink is actually pigment and you need to use a pigment based ink and to do your transfers. Otherwise it just, it's not gonna work. So with that in mind, when you're doing your printouts, make sure that your printouts are in black and white. So. With that said, going with the Wonder Sauce Clear, you don't have to do anything to this. This is ready to go right out of that, right out of the, right out of the the, uh, the jar. You don't need a lot of this. Um, both products they use very little because it gets everywhere. So I'm going to pour a little bit out onto this lid. As you can see, there's not a lot at all. And all I'm gonna do is transfer it on, just like this. It's very slickery. So 
So that's something that we have to be made aware of when I do that. I'm not going to do it over this word because I don't know, I don't want the, um, the uh, ink from that to interfere. So I'm going to go around that just like that. It's very slippery, very slick. It's, it's like a, I don't know, it's, it's, it's almost like a lubricant and I just knocked some over. Um, so I'm going to close that lid back up. You can see I spilled it already. And you're supposed to wait a few minutes before you put the transfer film on. Just, just a few, just a few moments. Okay. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and put this on it. And I'm not worried about lining everything up perfectly for this test. Okay. And wow, that stuck almost immediately. I, I felt it go on. It didn't uh, want to come off. So now I'm going to just kind of work the air bubbles out. And so far, it looks absolutely fantastic. Whoop, see right there? Look what just happened. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is where you have to be careful. Look, right there, the letters, the, the, uh, the letters um, got smudged. The letters smudged. So obviously that's something I'm going to have to be aware of and be very careful about um, is to make sure that it doesn't, doesn't smudge. Because if it does, that's obviously very bad. Now that was probably me not doing it correctly, but I'm noticing the longer it's on and the harder I push, on the text, and I was warned about this, but if you push too hard in the initial stages, you can see it's it's in certain areas like this, the 11 and the six here. Um, yeah, if I push really hard on that to try to get air bubbles out, you can see that the six pretty much got destroyed. Um, so that's something that I need to be aware of when I'm laying text to be extremely careful because it's looking like this is super crisp and I love it, but that's totally destroyed. This area is completely destroyed and this six and 11 is totally destroyed. So you're supposed to wait a couple minutes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to uh, dispose of this and we're going to wait. Okay, guys, so we've waited the allotted time. Uh, we've waited about two, two and a half minutes. And so what we're going to do next is now we're going to peel this back. And it should, theoretically, leave this where it is. So here we go. I'm just going to gently peel it back. Okay, and you can see on the transfer film, you can see that it's still there. Okay. And overall, this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with this area. It looks great. Obviously here, really bad. Where, and obviously, I noticed that right away. This area, we noticed immediately that it went bad. Here and here went bad. Now, can I fix that? Absolutely. This is where I will have to go in with a magnifying glass and uh, with a very tiny paintbrush and repaint these words by hand. And so you're always going to have touch-ups like that. I anticipate things like that. This, though, um, I'm going to call it a success, but we haven't seen what ink aid, how ink aid will do in these areas. But this I do consider a success. Obviously, there's some areas here, 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 and here that are totally unusable that I'll have to completely repair. But there's one other thing that we have to do when using the Das Art product that you don't with the ink aid. And this is something that's, that is interesting. So we're going to go to that step right now. Okay, so one of the really unusual things that you have to do when working with the Das Art product 
is that after you've done your transfer, apparently there's still some film that has to be removed from your canvas. So, or your, whatever it is that you put it on metal, you can put this stuff on anything. But one of the things you have to do is you have to put it in warm water, almost like when the old school developing film. So you put it in water and you let it soak. And what'll happen is the film will start the, 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 the res, the residual goop, I guess, um, will start to come off and you'll actually see it. If you shake it there, you can see it right there. Um, yeah, there's like this residual, almost like a slime that, 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 that's coming off. And that's what I was afraid of when you do this. See all these particles here? That's actually ink. I don't know if you guys can see that in the water when I shake it. It's starting to, as the, as the slime is coming off, it, it's taking some of the ink with it, and I can feel when I touch it the slime. I mean, you can feel it coming off. Um, but as I as I shake it, I don't want to touch it because if I well, let's see if I touch it. I'm going to do this this D if I rub. Yeah, see, look at that. It came right off instantly, like like that fast. It came off. So I don't want to rub. But if you shake it, you can see it it um, it's it's still there. Okay. And when I look at this, the, the, one of the first things that I notice about it is that it faded significantly. Some areas are dark, but bigger areas are, um, definitely, and I'm able to rub off entire sections when it gets wet. It literally just pops right off. So, in this particular case, uh, because of that, I'm considering this just a fail. So we're going to have to call that one a fail. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I needed to have it stay on longer. If uh, the DAS people want to comment and uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong, or maybe it's just text is not the thing to use with this. I know you do have to be very careful when doing text, but um, when I look at this, the fading here, the fact that letters literally look at that, I can rub them right off. Um, that, 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 that obviously isn't going to work because the odds of failure seem to be with this product to be a little bit high. So, all right, guys, we're going to dry this off. And uh, when we get back, we're going to do the ink aid side. All right, so now we are going to try the Ink Aid Transfer Ease product. And there's some instructions on this product. Uh, when we did the Das Art Wonder Sauce, uh, their instructions, um, this part you didn't have to do. The Wonder Sauce came ready to go. You didn't have to do this part. Uh, so this makes, this is the part in the Ink Aid product that is where you have to do a little bit of extra work. Uh, according to the instructions, uh, it says obviously to shake well, then it says mix one tablespoon of transferees concentrate because this is actually a concentrate. So it's different than the DAS art that the Wonder Sauce was ready to go. This is actually a concentrate. Now the benefit of that is obviously a jar, the jars, uh, were the same exact size. So the Wonder Sauce would obviously uh, not last as long as the same size jar of a concentrate. So that's that that's the thing. But you do have to do some prep work with the Ink Aid Transfer Ease concentrate. So it says that I'm supposed to do one tablespoon of this with, let's see here, with four fluid ounces of 91% isopropyl alcohol. So what I have here is I have one fluid ounce. Let me pour in the alcohol here to make it two fluid ounces. 
And this is the 91% isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to make sure that this is, that's two fluid ounces. I'm going to pour that in. And then I'm going to do two more. So that's four fluid ounces. Wow, that's a lot. So that's four fluid ounces of the alcohol. And this is 91% isopropyl alcohol. And then we're going to put in one tablespoon of the transfer ease. Again, shake well. I've been shaking it like crazy. We're gonna do that. And one tablespoon of this. Whoa. Oh, that's thick. I didn't think it was gonna be that thick. Okay, so there's one tablespoon of that, and I'm going to pour that in to the solution. Wow, that, that really is thick. It went all the way to the bottom too. So then I'll wipe this clean. And it's said to do this in a um, glass or an alcohol proof um, container and it said to stir it up, shake well, stir it up very well. So we'll do shaken, not stirred, or stirred, not shaken. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid back on this because it makes me nervous. <laughs> okay, that's the, again the ink aid. And we're stirring this in. So this is the concentrate. This is one tablespoon of this with four fluid ounces of the alcohol. So this is, my goodness, looks like, you know, four to one or more. Um, I don't know what the percentage is. Math ain't my thing. I'm an artiste, not a mathematician. <laughs> so stir that up really well. And then the instructions say... After you stir and cover with a tight leak-proof lid, allow to sit for four hours. Holy cow. So really, this is something you need to do well before you start the transfer process. Allow to sit four hours to dissolve and thicken. Occasionally shake gently. Label the container and store tightly closed. Okay. So really, now we have to wait for four hours hours. Dude, this is awesome. Dad dancing. Okay, everybody, the four hours is up. Our image transfer medium is done. It is time for our unveiling. I have been following the instructions. It's actually been about four and a half hours. And I am been, I have been rather shaking it uh, regularly, very loosely. So we're going to open this thing up and take a look at it. I want to make sure I don't spill any. And when I smell it, I can definitely smell uh, a strong alcohol odor. It does have a coloration to it. Uh, there's a lot of bubbles in there. Uh, it doesn't look grainy anymore, but it definitely is thicker in viscosity than the alcohol by itself. Um, and you can definitely see 
that it's not totally clear. It'll probably dry totally clear, but as it stands right now, um, it's not too thick. Um, I won't know until I brush it on if it's comparable to the Das Art Wonder Sauce, but um, let's give it a shot. So if you guys remember, the Das Art was on the bottom, so on this top half is gonna be the Ink Aid. And so here we go. So I'm gonna actually use a different brush um, just to be safe. So I'm gonna use one of these. I'm gonna dip it in. And already I can tell you it doesn't feel the same. It definitely does not feel the same at all. I can already feel that it's very sticky, very sticky, but it's not slippery like the Wonder Sauce was. This is very, very sticky, very interesting. Okay, so I painted that on. I'm going to put this to the side, put it over here, and now I'm going to grab the sheet, our text, and I'm going to place it on. Boom. And I'm going to try putting it with the roller. That way I'm not pushing so hard with my fingers. I'm going to see if that makes a difference. So far, by doing this, I can definitely feel that I'm pushing things out. I'm pushing actually harder with this than I was with my fingers, and I don't see any. Uh, you guys remember with the Das Art, the text was getting um, jumbled and such. I can hear a noise. I don't know if you guys heard that. definitely the sound of the air being pushed out. Oh, look at that. That's a huge problem. It moved dramatically. Look at that. It went blue. Now that was probably me moving it, but I didn't feel like I moved it. But it must have been because I was pushing too hard because before I was pushing so hard, this didn't happen. So you guys see that where the text actually moved. I wonder if I can push it back down. Oh my gosh, I'm able to push it back down. Look at this. That is wild. I'm actually able to move it around a little bit. Okay, so that's something to learn about. That's very interesting. And you can see the letter two here has also moved around a little bit. That's interesting. Oh my goodness. Um, so that's something I'm gonna have to obviously watch out for quite a bit. You see here the text, it warped the text. But up here it's perfect. I mean, the, this area here, is absolutely perfect. Got a little warping here on the two, but this here and here is perfect. So here I must have pushed too hard. So the big question is, is, is the text going to come off? So practice makes perfect, but so far um, it's performing about the same as the Das Art in having little issues. The Das Art was smudging Whereas this is warping, the text warped, which is quite interesting. Here, like I said, in this section here, the first paragraph, uh, verse 11 is perfect. There's nothing wrong with verse 11 at all. Verse 12 got warped right in this section here. I think that is just boils down to me pushing too hard though. So something to really think about. So we're gonna give this the same amount of time, about two minutes and then I'm gonna peel it off. Okay, so the same amount of time has elapsed, so now it's time to peel it back and see what happens. So here we go.
Okay, so there's the sheet. And here is the text. Now, according to uh, the Ink Aid rep that I have, what they talked to me about, you don't have to do the washing of this. Um, if you remember on the Das Art product, you had to dip it in the water and kind of shake it off so the gel would come off. With the Ink Aid, you do not have to. Now, with the Das Art, when we washed it off, you saw how this occurred. Fading, text completely coming off. Obviously, this wasn't going to work. The Ink Aid product, with the exception of this warping of the text, which this is my first time ever using it, so I'm pretty sure I can avoid that happening in the future. I'm almost 100% confident that I can keep that from happening. However, what I'm seeing here, the text is flawlessly black, crisp, sharp. Verse 11 here is absolutely perfect. I'm going to get in as close as I can to look at it. Bring it up close so you guys can see. That looks pretty darn good to me. I'm very, very pleased with that. I'm going to come around so that you guys can see up close how that looks. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to come up close so you guys can really get a good look at it. You can see that verse 11, verse 11 is pretty much perfect. The, the big J judges, the two on the 12 is a little warped and verse 12 is, is warped pretty significantly. However, when you compare this, the ink aid and the way it looks, this is the finished product. That's what it would look like with the exception of the warping. Look at the difference between the ink aid product and the Dasart product. And again, this is my first time using the ink aid. This is my second time using Dasart. And I'll say that with the Dasart, I noticed this happening in the past, in the, in the first version, it did the exact same thing, not to this degree. So this is worse. And of course, I was purposely touching and scrubbing to see how bad it was. Whereas with this, uh, this is a big difference. So I'll put that down so we can look at both. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see both products. Comparable side by side. And I'm going to grab the products here. So this is the Dasart Wonder Sauce on the bottom. Right there. That's the Dasart Wonder Sauce. And this is the Ink Aid Transfer Ease product. So based off of this preliminary test, um, I'm pretty confident that I think both products work. I think that you going with text is going to be tough. Text is tough, and the Ink Aid representative that was that was talking to me, he he was a little concerned about you know hey doing text is hard and he was telling me that this was a potential. Um, but this I know I can avoid with practice. This I just can't, there's no way that I can work with this because to fix this or put another layer on or to go back with a small brush and rewrite all this text, it would just be too much work and way too time consuming. It would be, I might as well just grab my calligraphy pens and, and do the thing from by hand. Um, so I think for the Illuminated Messiah, I think that the Ink Aid is the product for me. I'm going to do a lot more practicing with it to see how much I can avoid this. But as it stands today, right now, the Ink Aid transferees, uh, I think, is the winner for the Illuminated Messiah um, 
art exhibit and Bible project. All right, guys, there you have it. I think we have a winner and it's the Ink Aid Transferees product. Uh, this image transfer medium, it's, it's the stuff. Uh, and I wanna say right up front, um, neither Ink Aid nor Dasart are sponsoring me in any way, shape or form. They didn't pay me to do this. They didn't ask me to do this. This is me trying to figure out what is the best solution to my script font text problem for the Illuminated Messiah project. I needed to put text in, wanted to do it digitally, wasn't able to use the uh, golden digital ground anymore because that product was discontinued, had to find something. And so throughout this process and this entire video is me and you uh, trying to learn which prod product would be the best product for the Illuminated Messiah uh, art exhibit and Bible. And I have to say, Ink Aid's it. I'm excited about it. There were a few th warping issues, but overall the text was really dark and a nice rich, very readable, crisp black, which was beautiful. Um, it also didn't fade. Uh, it didn't lift off. And so I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. And so I think we have a winner. So I'm going to be using this bottle up and um, we'll see what happens next. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Do me a favor. If you're watching this on Facebook, like this post, share this post. If you haven't already liked the Gagno Atelier or the Illuminated Messiah page, go ahead and like those uh, and share those as well. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. That's gonna help me out a lot. We're growing brand new YouTube page. So I would really appreciate it if you guys did that and uh, we will see you next time. And remember, between now and next time, God loves you and so does your old pal Tim.